Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today Apple has officially released a ton of software including iOS 12.3 so on your iPhone right now or iPad you can go to settings general software updates and you'll see iOS 12.3 populate is approximately 2.9 gigabytes now don't be concerned this is not going to take away 2.9 gigabytes or 2 point plus gigs from your device this is actually overwriting the OS so it's not going to be like you have two and a half gigs less or whatever okay so don't be concerned by that in this video of course I'm going to cover what's new with this software I already have my final thoughts on this software believe it or not because I was you know anticipating Apple to release this uh, by the end of the month but they actually pushed it a little faster on the 13th today monday 12.3 was released by apple worldwide and now if we go to the developer portal here we see that apple also released mac os mojave 10.14.5 of course 12.3 for ios and watch os 5.2.1 as well as tv os 12.3 so a big big day at apple releasing a lot of software right in time for wwdc and uh, let's go ahead and get to some of the new things within ios 12.3 just a quick recap here uh, just a quick side note for ios 12.3 those of you who have yet to install it if you have an iphone 10s 10s max and 10r i would recommend just holding off a few days before installing 12.3 as i've been testing it throughout the betas i've been having issues with wi-fi and cell connectivity issues that i did not have on 12.2 so if you're on 12.2 and you're looking to update you can stay tuned here to the channel for my follow-up video on 12.3 to see if apple addressed most of the issues with wi-fi connectivity and cell connectivity drops on the new iPhones. Okay, so I'll be testing 12.3. That's just a quick side note for those of you on newer iPhones, like again mentioned 10R, 10S, and 10S Max. Now, this software addresses a few bugs and also includes a ton of new features for the TV application. Apple is focusing on the TV service. It also enables AirPlay 2 for AirPlay uh, 2 enabled devices, right? So TVs now uh, would have AirPlay 2 enabled integrated and this software enables this for you to be able to connect to those TVs and control it directly from your iOS device. A lot of bugs were fixed with the remote itself. This remote actually controls AirPlay and AirPlay 2 devices, but Apple's main focus with iOS 12.3 is the new uh, TV subscription service or Apple TV application as we see here the TV application also includes a new icon and you have a ton of new channels here that you can subscribe to you can try it out right here you have HBO that you can try Showtime stars they have a great catalog just a ton of content in here that you can try for free for seven days I believe it is now iOS 12.3 also includes the new news plus service as well so this is new with ios 12.3 for those new customers that love to read their magazine especially on ipads 12.3 of course available on ipads as well you can try it out for free as well right here you can read in magazines newspapers and of course the entire catalog is available here on the new news plus application for ios now in regards to major new features other than the tv service and the news plus application service right we don't see any major changes any major overhaul Halls. That's of course going to be saved for iOS 13, but keep in mind that the devices that don't move forward to iOS 13, older devices that are rumored like the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, uh, you'll be running this software on your device for quite some time and Apple may even release 12.4 before iOS 13. Remember, iOS 13 will be in beta stages all the way until the fall when we get the new iPhone. So Apple needs to continue to improve on iOS 12 before releasing iOS 13 in the fall. So we have several months before we officially get a final build for iOS 13. We don't even have a beta yet. So remember, June 3rd, we'll get beta for iOS 13 and Apple will continue for those who are not in betas releasing updates for iOS 12. So maybe 12.4 is coming next. We'll just have to wait and see. Additional bug fix within iOS 12.3 include the control center remote control extension here this one allows you of course to control your Apple TV or your AirPlay to enable television there was an issue where the remote wouldn't actually connect properly with some TV sets and you couldn't put the volume up and down or change between channels and so forth that has been addressed with 12.3 uh, also inside of the music application the for you tab will now be updated more often throughout the day according to the theme and music that you've been playing throughout the day it also addresses an issue where Wi-Fi calls will drop uh, occasionally on iPhone so if you had issues with Wi-Fi calling especially using uh, FaceTime audio uh, that issue has also been addressed with 12.3 so overall what this software brings is airplay to enable devices to be supported with photos videos and more you can share this information for 
from your iOS device directly to an AirPlay 2 device. And of course, the Apple TV application update and all the services now available with this new subscription service. That is the core function of this update. So again, if you guys want to hold off those with new devices, again, iPhone XR, XS, and XS Max, for my follow-up video, I'm going to be testing the battery, of course, the connections with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and, you know, the cell connectivity and all that stuff that I've been having issues with throughout the betas. You can stay tuned to the channel. Uh, for everybody else, I would highly recommend it, especially on older devices. I'm phenomenal on older devices as well. So just keep that in mind, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Update video coming soon, next 48 to 72 hours. Just stay tuned to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.